Hello, Rigoberto. Hello. How is your day? I'm doing well, and you? Pretty good. Mm. Tell me a, a little bit about what you do in your job. Well, I'm not working right now. I'm just starting, but I spend all day starting now. Ah, okay. And do you have a lot of classes, Rigoberto? Yes, I have a lot of classes because I am in the university now. So I have classes from 6.30 p.m. to 8.10 p.m. Ah, p.m.? p.m. Okay. So that is the reason. <laughs> that is the reason because in some cases I'm, I am a little bit late uh, to your class. No, no, it's okay. But I, what happened today? Today you're early. Ah uh, yes, uh, this is the last week. The last week uh, in the university we are making some exams. Okay, I understand. And then, how much time do you have vac? How much time do you have for vacation? Uh, one month. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. One month. Time to relax. Yes, I need it. <laughs> <laughs> Especially after exams, right? Yes. We are like a crazy this is this week. And when do you finish the exams? Uh, on Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. Tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. <laughs> so tomorrow's your last exam. Yes. You feel ready? You're prepared? Yes, I am prepared. I have been, I have been studying. That's great. Okay. And then what are you going to do for one month? Well, I have to receive another classes, other classes. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I will be busy. And why do you have to receive other classes? Mm -hmm. Why do you have to receive other classes? Uh, because actually I'm starting from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. So I receive classes all day. Oh, okay. But not from the university? Not. No. I am in a program. Like a uh, uh, superate or what kind of program? Yes, like superate, but they are teaching me how to learn, how to express my ideas there. Oh, okay, uh, for speaking or written? For speaking. Okay, that's great. Okay. Well, it sounds like you have a lot of activities that you're doing. <laughs> yes, in this moment. But I am about to finish that. It's just this week and I will be free again. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. And Maritza, how about you? How are you doing? Hi. Um, I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah. I am I am almost finished <laughs> my dinner. <laughs> ah, okay. And did you cook? Yes. I, I, I cook, but uh, this week is a little bit uh, not normal mm -hmm. uh, because my, my daughter have to eat without salt. Without salt? Yes. Okay. And oh. I don't know how, to, I don't know what to cook that uh, is, uh, it's good for her. Mm. And it only one week? Only one week. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. it's uh, for an exam, and uh, uh, she's making that diet for uh, to to take an exam from his uh, thyroids. Ah, for the thyroids. Yes, for for the thyroids. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's a little difficult for people that don't that eat salt. Uh, because what do you do, right? It's, it's a little hard. Yes, it's hard to, to, to invent what, what I cook and that, that she likes. How old is she? She is 14 years old. 
it's, it's a little difficult, but it's okay because she's she's older. So it's like, ah, uh, she understands. It's not like when they are children. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It's less difficult Yeah, uh, because she understands. But this is the first date and she's worried about the food. And she <laughs> asks, what else can I eat? <laughs> and I don't know what. <laughs> Because she can't uh, eat uh, cheese, cream, uh, milk, many things. Yeah, because of the salt. Is is because uh, of the salt. all of those have a lot of salt? Yeah, uh, the probably probably the best thing for her to eat would be salads. That's what she's gonna have to eat. Is a lot of salads and, and fruits and uh, and vegetables. vegetables yeah like steamed or or grilled barbecued maybe in the oven um, but no no salt only maybe a little okay. bit of, of black pepper mm -hmm. yes maybe black pepper mm -hmm. she i i cook yesterday i cooked a, a meat for her but she said it's a with no flavor <laughs> she, did, she didn't like it yeah 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 it's it's the reality because when you eat a lot of salt it's normal that everything is with salt and you feel the flavor but no salt is is it's more sad. difficult mm -hmm. yes yeah. it's difficult she only eats plantain <laughs> <laughs> okay all right well guys welcome back i'm glad to see we have a lot of people back on time and that you connected at right away it's good we're going to start first by listening um if you remember yesterday we finished off with a small listening exercise uh, do you remember it was about aliens about well not about aliens but uh, about a situation that a family experience yes i remember okay okay so today we're going to go ahead and continue with those and we're going to have uh, the listen and then talk about those situations. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. All right, let me share my screen with you. I want you to identify all of the things that they say from the list, okay? You can do it with me or in your platform. This is 2.10, 2.10, so you can listen. Good evening, listeners, and welcome to Still Unsolved Mysteries. Tonight, we're going to talk about the strange case of Betty and Barney Hill. They were convinced that one night in 1961, they were abducted by aliens. Could this really have happened? Martha Stevens is here to talk about it. Martha, what's the story? Hi, David. Well, one night, while the Hills were driving home from a vacation in Montreal, they saw a bright point of light in the sky. Barney assumed it must be a plane or maybe a satellite, but Betty thought it could be a UFO. There were no other cars on the road, so Barney drove slowly so they could watch it. The object seemed to be flying beside them. Barney began to agree that it couldn't be a plane, so he stopped the car. And Betty said she saw about 10 creatures looking at them through windows in the object. And then what happened? As they drove quickly away, they suddenly felt tired and their bodies felt strange. Their next memory was driving on the highway again. They arrived at their home early the next morning. They said things were still strange. How were they strange? Well, they couldn't remember the drive home clearly. Betty found pink powder, and stains on her dress. She had no idea where they might have come from. Did they contact anyone? Betty wrote a letter to the Air Force about their strange experience and about the terrible dreams she was having. The Air Force said Betty must have been having the dreams because she thought she saw a UFO. They said she couldn't have seen aliens. Betty and Barney were interviewed and hypnotized many times by doctors. They told stories about having medical tests on the spaceship. What did the doctors think? They doubted the story. They said dreams like this can be triggered by science fiction TV shows. 
Barney's description of the creatures matched creatures from a TV show. Doctors figured the Hills must have seen the show. Betty said Barney couldn't have seen the show because he worked in the evenings when it was on TV. Hmm. I suspect the doctors were right. That must be the real explanation. Well, maybe. There's one more thing. Doctors asked the Hills what time they left Montreal and what time they got home. The trip should have taken four hours. The Hills were amazed to realize it had taken them seven hours. What happened to the missing three hours? Good question, Martha. I guess that's why it's still an unsolved mystery. What do you guys think? It's okay or one more time? One more time, teacher. Okay, one more time. One more time, teacher, please. Remember, here is the list. Is you're going to have you have to identify six, six things. We're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So listen one more time and identify six things that happen in the conversation. Good evening, listeners, and welcome to Still Unsolved Mysteries. Tonight, we're going to talk about the strange case of Betty and Barney Hill. They were convinced that one night in 1961, they were abducted by aliens. Could this really have happened? Martha Stevens is here to talk about it. Martha, what's the story? Hi, David. Well, one night, while the Hills were driving home from a vacation in Montreal, they saw a bright point of light in the sky. Barney assumed it must be a plane or maybe a satellite, but Betty thought it could be a UFO. There were no other cars on the road, so Barney drove slowly so they could watch it. The object seemed to be flying beside them. Barney began to agree that it couldn't be a plane, so he stopped the car. And Betty said she saw about 10 creatures looking at them through windows in the object. And then what happened? As they drove quickly away, they suddenly felt tired and their bodies felt strange. Their next memory was driving on the highway again. They arrived at their home early the next morning. They said things were still strange. How were they strange? Well, they couldn't remember the drive home clearly. Betty found pink powder and stains on her dress. She had no idea where they might have come from. Did they contact anyone? Betty wrote a letter to the Air Force about their strange experience and about the terrible dreams she was having. The Air Force said Betty must have been having the dreams because she thought she saw a UFO. They said she couldn't have seen aliens. Betty and Barney were interviewed and hypnotized many times by doctors. They told stories about having medical tests on the spaceship. What did the doctors think? They doubted the story. They said dreams like this can be triggered by science fiction TV shows. Barney's description of the creatures matched creatures from a TV show. Doctors figured the Hills must have seen the show. Betty said Barney couldn't have seen the show because he worked in the evenings when it was on TV. Hmm. I suspect the doctors were right. That must be the real explanation. Well, maybe. There's one more thing. Doctors asked the Hills what time they left Montreal and what time they got home. The trip should have taken four hours. The Hills were amazed to realize it had taken them seven hours. What happened to the missing three hours? Good question, Martha. I guess that's why it's still an unsolved mystery. Okay, you ready, guys? What's number one? What's one of the things that they say? Yes. Number one, the number one. Uh, object flying inside the number tower. one. Okay, what else? Number two, two. Yeah. Number two. Yes. 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 Okay. Number three, four. Mm. Four. Four. Yeah. Okay. Number four, six. Six. 
the title of the first story. Okay. Number five, seven. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And the last one? Number six, eight. 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 Let's see. Ah, very good, guys. Good listening. We have a lot of things about aliens, okay? Now we're going to talk a moment and discuss our own personal ideas and yeah. things before we do a reading. We are going to also read in one moment, amnesia. But before we read, we're going to discuss about the aliens. What do you think? Do you believe in aliens or you don't believe in aliens? I believe. You believe? Yes. And what do you imagine the aliens look like? What do you imagine is their appearance? Uh, be sure that a uh, fever and human uh, and all the same uh, article for the body, same for a human, because more uh, intelligent or more uh, capacities for your mind. It's my, my opinion. Okay, okay. Well, similar to this, in the chat, you have many questions, many questions that you are going to discuss with your partner. And the idea is to ask and answer and have a conversation and create the ideas and express your opinions. Okay. Do you have everybody see the link? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. So let's go with our partners. We're going to have a few minutes to talk and then we come back and do some reading. But first, ask and answer the questions in the link.
Okay. Were there any questions, words, vocabulary you didn't know? Yes, it's it's carrier. Mm, I is like when you are uh, when you are afraid, scared. Is that the word here? Scared? Yes. Yes, is when you are afraid, like for Halloween or when you see the, the witches or the devil. This is scared. Okay. It's, it's the same with uh, without scare. It, if the scared is in the chat, that is the word or no? Mm. Is the scariest is the is scariest is the is, is the word. Uh huh. So it's, it's, the, it's a big. The, the, the scariest is <laughs> the, the most correct? the most. Right. Yes, is the is the word scared, but is the superlative. Yeah. Not mm. the verb. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I I see. Uh, I know. Yes. I do do. Okay, so when you compare, this is the idea. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other words? No. No. Okay, great. So now we're going to take a moment and read. Uh, we are going to finish the last exercise 2.11 and we're going to read a little bit you know here 2.11 it's a reading i made it a little bit bigger for us so we can see um i don't know can you see this or no yes yes yes, yes. okay yeah yes 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 right now yes it's okay or or, or no that's a, that's okay that's okay <laughs> Okay, perfect. Katya, can you please read the first paragraph? Hey, teacher. Um, Anesia spoils new sleeves. Newlyweds? Newlyweds sleeves. What if the person you married forgot who you were? For one Texas couple, marriage become a blind date when we go. Groom came down with amnesia days after the wedding. Okay. Amy and that's all. Yes, only that. And then Sergio, continue. Sorry. Amy and Sean McConnell's wedding day started well, but ended with a shock. One of Sean's uh, good friends was in a coma because of a serious car accident. Nevertheless, Amy and Sean, and Sean decided to make their honeymoon trip according to plans. Thank you. Sirhan? Okay. At the airport, Sean released his left, his wallet in their car after they parked. He said to Amy, I'll be right back, but he, that, he didn't return. Okay, good. Marielos? Marielos, your microphone? Excuse me. <laughs> it's okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Amy contacted the police who found Sean wandering near motel three days later. He was confused and over it in, in book bits. He had no idea who he was or who Amy was. Sean could not remember Amy personal details from his life, not even his mother, his mother. Uh, Thank you. Not Alex? Alex's mother. Okay. Mm -hmm. Continue. No, Alex. Oh, Alex, okay. go ahead. Okay. Amy was now married 
to, to a man who viewed her as a stranger. I want, I want you know if he going to remember me. Who is your relationship going to work? Say, Amy. Thank you. Miguel Angel. This was a big change after a six year courtship and plenty of shared memories. One moment. Continue, sir. I had to learn to ask him, can I hook you? I mean, that's what's hard. Sight Amy. Amy. Okay, good. Mayra? Okay, uh, a psychiatrist, Dr. Daniel Brown said, Sean, amnesia might have been caused by a series of stressful moments, like this friend's car accident. According to Dr. Brown, Sean Ray didn't connect with his identity, identity anymore. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know how Shane McNulty uh, is and has no memories to help. Okay, thank you very much. Nelson. Uh, it, it sort of like you forgot your name of a file you restored it on your computer. You know it's there, but you can find it, say the brown. His memory is like that. Okay, good. Rigoberto? And what is the next part? Um, okay. Uh, hey. What is the? Uh, Don't worry, it's okay, Rigoberto. It's okay. I know. Uh, David, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Fortunately, the better time soon arrived. The day before their first anniversary, sends memories floated back in an instant. He soon remembered everything, including their wedding. I remember showing cake in her face. Said, "Sang, sang. It oh. was great." Mm -hmm. Shen. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Sirhan. And you. The last paragraph, sir. Yes, Iran. Uh -huh. Yes, Sean View the experience and a chance to confirm the perks the right bride. I got to see how much she loved me. Say Sean. Say Sean. We have a much stronger, closer bond from the experience. I couldn't have found a better woman to spend my life with. Okay. Great. First, are there any words you don't know? Why, teacher? While? Yes? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, tell me. Hey, which teacher? word? Are there any words you don't know? No uh, word. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yes. Teacher, um, um, I have dealt with a, a courtship. Courtship is like when you are dating the boyfriend and girlfriend. In this period, is the courtship. Ah, okay. Is is different uh, of um, engaged. 
Correct. It's different engaged. In, in, engaged. Engaged is more formal. No, no, no. Engaged is different. No more formal. It's different. Engaged is, I, I say, they, <laughs> will you marry me? And courtship is only boyfriend, girlfriend. Ah, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Now no, it's formal. Yes. No, a relationship formal. Yes, but it's boyfriend and girlfriend. And, and the meaning of bond? Closer bond? Bond. The bond is to have a good relationship, a close relationship. This is a bond. Teacher. Yes. Never, never jealous. Never jealous. Never. Never jealous. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. Correct. Never. Nevertheless. What What does mean? It is a word to use to combine sentence with opposite ideas. Okay. So it is raining. It is raining. Nevertheless. I'm going to go to the beach. Ah, uh, okay. Or, or for example, it's raining. Nevertheless, the song is 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 bright. It's Correct. raining. Correct. Uh, or the same. Nevertheless, is for opposite. The ideas not normal. So it's raining. Nevertheless, it's hot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any other words? Just the pronunciation of psychiatrist, doctor? Psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Is that... Is that okay? Yes. What is oh. psychiatrist teacher? The psychiatrist is the person that you talk to when you have problems. When you have mental um, problems, you go to the yeah. psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Teacher, what is the meaning? Oh, and the paragraph uh, said, Mm, Sean's <laughs> memories flu flooded back in an instant. Ah, so the memories return, yeah. return yeah. like like the water, like the uh, like the water yeah. flood. The water came very fast. Okay, but similar to return. Similar to return, return. exactly. Okay. okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, all right. So now with our partners in 2.11, we have many different uh, things that we are asked. All we have to do is say true or false. We have three situations. <laughs> Let's take a look. Number one, Sean's amnesia began after he was in a serious car accident. False. 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 Okay. Sean shoved a shoved cake in Amy's face when he remembered who he was. False. 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 Okay. The amnesia might have been caused by too much stress. True. True. Okay. Hey, excellent. Those are the correct answers. All right. Any questions about that? Show. Sean. Show. Or shoved. No. Show. Uh, yes. Yes. Shoved is when you have the cake and you push in the face, like for the birthday in El Salvador. Uh, okay. So in El Salvador, the cake, the people, they shove. They shove the cake into the people. It's a bad killing t-shirt. Yes, like with, with Amber. Uh-huh. Many people uh, 
uh, after uh, they put um, uh, very angry. Just yes, some people are very angry. They don't like it. Yes. But in El Salvador, it's very common, the tradition. This is a bad tradition. Yes, for some, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, are we ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to discuss marriages and the relationships and what happens for those different things. In the chat, you're going to see another link to have conversation about marriage. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You see, it's a lot of questions, oh, yes? Yes. Yes, the idea is because practice, 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 practice speaking, okay? Okay. So, okay. okay, let's go with our partners. Let's practice the questions. Okay, let me see. Yes, it's okay.
Okay. Any questions? Any vocabulary? No? For the moment, not yet. Okay. No, teacher. I don't have. Hey. No, teacher. Hey, great. But okay, because this means that today we finish unit two. And tomorrow we have the midterm exam. So tomorrow we have the exam, unit one and unit two. Okay. 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 Yes. Very okay, yes. Okay. Okay. Good. So before we go, um, I want to hear your opinions. What do you think about it? Give me what are your ideas? About? About it? About yes. what do you Teacher. About the topic of marriage, what do you, what do you think? Is good? Oh, is okay. bad? Is mm -hmm. it's, it's difficult. Bad, <laughs> yes, it's difficult. It's difficult. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Teacher. Very interesting. <laughs> Many people have different ideas. Then <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 don't marry. It's okay. <laughs> don't marry. Uh, only, yeah. only. I that think that is a very great idea, idea in my opinion. <laughs> Select it's the, the best advice. It's good be alone. Uh -huh. Okay. And I, I, in this class, only two people are married, right? Only, only two people were married. Uh -huh. Marielos. And Marielos, right? No, I am married. Me, teacher. Marita. I'm single. <laughs> I like it. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm Mary. free. <laughs> I'm single. I'm single. Just share. Yeah. About... yeah. What? It's not easy, right, Marielos? It's not easy to be married. It's yeah. not easy, but but it's cool. It's happened. Ben, adventures. Okay. Some of that. Yeah. Uh, Marielos, how many uh, how many years of marriage do do you have? Um, I have 29 years. 29? Yes. 29? Uh, wow. wow. Amazing. Yes. Congratulations. Yeah, Thank you. really, really <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Me, 18. 18. 18. No, I don't see it, hon. It's cool. It's good, too. It's difficult. Yeah. It's difficult. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's difficult. Uh -huh. I I have I I have nineteen years. Nineteen. Yeah. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. Ew. Yes. Hello. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh huh. We see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for connecting. Remember, tomorrow, if you don't connect, tomorrow we are going to do the exam, unit one and unit two. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.